Hello, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the track level audio warp capabilities in QBS 12. It works slightly differently than it did in previous versions. So in previous versions, what you would do is double click on the audio event. It would open up the audio in the audio editor, and then you could expand to full screen. And then from there, you would open audio warp on the left panel. You can see that I've added a few slice points in on this kick. From there, what you do is select free warp. A free warp then will allow you to adjust your samples. And I say I wanted to adjust this sample here. It works slightly differently than previous versions. In previous versions, you would actually hover the little left right arrow thing icon over and just click on it and pull left or right. But now, You've got this little vertical line to the left of the left right arrow and when you move it close it sort of locks on the slice point turns white and that allows you to move it now you can also see there that all the information before that kick is being moved along with that kick which you don't want so what you need to do is put another slice point in front of it and another one behind it and then you're able to move that audio information without affecting what's in front or behind it. And that was the old way of doing it. So now you have a free warp tool, which is this little thing here. If you long press on it, you can go down and select free warp, and then you can select the audio event that you want to edit. So say I want to time align this kick just to be a little bit tighter. And it just locks in to the quantize that I have set. So now you can set it up on the grid as needed. So if I play this back, you can hear. So that's how you do it on single tracks. So what I've done here is I have put the overheads into their own folder. And what that allows me to do is enable phase coherent audio warp and group editing, which means if I edit one of these, which is like the left and right mic on the overheads, that allows me to edit in phase. both linked.
generally it locks on to the sort of point where the note starts. It's very intelligent in the way that it selects the slice points. second and I'll show you how the fee is coherent. Editing works. On the overheads. that snares just ever so slightly see it that one very very slightly there's just sort of a drag in that song anyway so I don't want to over quantize it. tune things a little bit. So yeah, that's how to use the new track level audio warp, both just on a regular track and also with a phase aligned group editing. So if you want to do the group editing, you just import or you select the tracks, right? So if say I select these two tracks, right click on them and then move select the tracks to new folder. And then once you've got them in the folder, you name the folder, in this case I named it drums. And then once they're in there, you can click on phase aligned or group editing which then basically selects every track in that folder. So for the overheads before, it would have been really difficult for me to time align the snare that we're slightly off without creating phase issues. But now it's super easy. Yeah, really nice workflow improvement compared to previous versions. Hopefully you find that helpful and I'll be back with more videos soon.
Tschüss.